Hi everyone, I'm Tony Malone and welcome to my art studio here in Clevedon. We're going to be looking at some painting today and we're going to look at how you can be creative at home and how you can have fun with watercolour. So I'm going to grab some paper and show you how to paint these wonderful plants. Firstly, I'm going to use some masking tape. Now I'm using purple masking tape simply because this could stand out for you to see at home, but also because it matches these plants really well. And I'm just going to peel a strip off and I'm just using some watercolour paper, nothing particularly expensive or special. And I'm going to put a piece like that and just tear it loosely. I think I'll do a bit like that. I'm going to try and be clever now and split this one into thinner strips. So I'll have a strip running up like that, put it in half. And I'm just glancing at the plants as I'm doing this to get some ideas and how they look and where they are. Now, though the plant pot on this you'll see is purple, I think I'm going to go for something nice and stripy. So I'm going to just add it in there. And all will be revealed in a minute, but where this looks like just a lots of blocks of colour, what actually happens is the bits that are purple become white when we're finished. So you've always got to do these with a sense of your painting in reverse. And I'm just creating some little shapes which sort of mark the centre of where these flowers are. They've got these wonderful iris shapes and these wonderful sort of, uh, it's really hard to describe, but they're really bright purple blobs which have got these fantastic light and dark areas. And that's what I want to try and capture with this, is those light and dark areas and how does that look and what can we do with that. Let's just add a few more flower centres in. Now, if you'll notice lower down, we've got these large leaves. And I think the best way of capturing them is just to try and get a sense with the masking tape of the shape. So I'm going to block some masking tape up. And if you're doing this at home, you could use masking tape, anything that's light tack. You could even use bits of paper with uh, blue tack or something like that, just to hold it down into the right space. But for me, this sort of quick masking tape is just really easy for you all to see at home. Add a few more little tiny strips, I think, and then we're done. sense that there's a bit more going on than that meets the eye with this sometimes. And right on cue, just as I'm sort of filming this and talking to you all, a large lorry has pulled up. So I do apologise for any noise in the background, but uh, this little area of Cleveland can get really busy outside, but it's kind of fun when that happens, isn't it? So that's my masking tape down, and you'll see it's loosely looking like a plant already. So let's move these out of the way. And I'm going to pick up one of my favourite brushes, which is a uh, quill brush, or wash brush as it's also called. And I'm just going to brush this out the way too. I'm just going to use water, no paints at this stage, and just soak. I'm just going to soak around the leaves, around where the flowers are. Um, being very, very loose with the water, you can be quite... Depends on the thickness of card. If you've got thinner card, try and use less water. If you have more card, you can get away with quite a lot such as this. And the pot, because it's got this wonderful toning that runs down, I think I want to capture some of that with what I'm doing. Now, we need to make up this gorgeous sort of bluish turquoise and purple. So for that, I'm going to use some Prussian blue. And I'm going to use some neat violet. And just mix the two together loosely. And I'm then going to just, I'm not going to actually touch the brush with the paper, I'm just going to drop. And I'm getting some marks on the paper already, so I know it's how I want it to be. I'm being incredibly loose with how I'm doing this and what the, the, the approach is, and adding a bit more neat purple occasionally. 
and you'll see it's where this wonderful um, watercolour is sort of meeting the water that's already on the page. The colours start coming out and start blurring into one another and having a life of their own. It's a bit like a marbling effect. Just add some extra colours into the background there. I learned this technique when I was at school with my art teacher, Margaret Luck. And uh, it was one of those techniques that stays with you since you was a young person, in terms of something that's really great fun, really simple, and that leads on to these amazing shapes. Let's just give a suggestion of some of these other petals coming in, just by sort of pulling the brush down and twisting it slightly. And now we have that wonderful green which is a bit of a forest green, but there's a hint of yellow to it. So I'm just going to mix it with some yellow that I had on the palette and bring these leaves into sort of their life of their own a bit. Again, a very, very pale wash. It's mostly water because once this has dried a little bit, I will add in some of those darker colors. There we go, we have these nice darker shades on the underside. The beauty of these brushes is that they go to a very fine point. So I can sort of control with how I'm holding the brush. If I hold that there, how I'm holding the brush and how that meets works very well for the amount of paint I'm adding to each, each piece. Now we also have these long stems that run up into twining. Now some of this is being done in the masking tape, but it'd be nice to actually just add in over the top of the tape just to a couple of lines to suggest that there's some there's some stem there and what's happening with that stem. And the odd flick just to show where the, the flowers themselves connect up. That should do it. Now I'm gonna go for now this has got a nice purple pot. But I think I'm going to make mine a little bit more red, just because I think it would suit the illustration better. And you could change this to any colour you'd like. Um, this technique works with any houseplants, from roses to um, miniature magnolias to um, that anything really. Adding a bit of blue. Shading into that, but I'm not too worried about defining the shape of the pot. So that's all coming together nicely. I'm just going to add a little bit more around here to suggest that there's some petals. And we'll hold it there. So I'm going to turn this around. I can't lift it up yet, but we'll wait for this to dry and then we'll unmask it.
returning back to the exciting painting we started earlier, I'm going to remove these masking tapes and we're going to see how it looks. And part of the excitement of this is finding out what the painting really looks like underneath. You've got to be careful in a couple of places that the tape doesn't stick and pull paint up with it. There's a couple of times I've doing that here, but sometimes that actually helps create a better image. So we're going to start revealing the pot shape, the masking tape coming off. And let's get this long stem here because these orchids have got wonderful long stems and we can pull out some of this white space around them and the image starts to look very graphic and very exciting. There's always a tricky bit like this to lift off as well, but you'll get there eventually. And as we're coming up to it, let's get this other stem off. And the last few areas of flower shapes. And here comes the reveal of our finished painting. I'm looking forward to see what you've all done at home with yours. I hope you've enjoyed this week's watercolour and creativity lessons. Next week we're going to really go into some watercolour techniques, looking at wash, sketch and some really exciting ways to put colour on paper. Um, this is going to be part of a series and if you can please share the work you're doing by dropping it to me in an email and I can include it in the next series. The email address to send it to is studio at tonymalone.co.uk and there'll be a link at the end of this video and thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you all soon.